So the Trump arrests. Uh, okay, you you know, this is what they would have been doing to Bernie Sanders had Bernie Sanders won. Just just so you know that this is what they're doing. And I'm no fan of Trump. Trump is was not a great president, although he didn't start in any more wars. His foreign policy was certainly better than any of our presidents in recent history. Uh, his domestic policy sucked. Um, I mean, he screwed, he screwed up a lot of foreign policy, too, but he just, I guess, didn't know enough to screw up all of it. Yeah. <laughs> like how, how well, he didn't know what do. his real job was. Yeah. The real job of the president is imperialism. Yeah. That's the real job. And that's why they had to get rid of him. He was willing to do a lot of imperialism, he was but not all, all not in how <laughs> they need you. And so this guy, this guy's John Woo. He, uh, he's from the Bush administration. And, um, Oh, you. I thought you said John Woo, like the director, like the famous director, John Woo. John Yu, I think. John Yu. Yeah. So uh, he says he has serious doubts about Manhattan's DA's case against Trump. Hmm. Hmm. Serious doubts, Kurt. <laughs> What's to doubt about this historic novel use of a misdemeanor bookkeeping charge from 2016? <laughs> You know what they're charging him, but it's about because he he gave payments to uh no not giving the payments that they were mis uh, marked down in the books of so he yeah so he gave hush he paid hush money mm -hmm. uh, through his lawyer Michael Cohen to that that stripper porn star, porn yeah. star that he had an had sex with or yeah, something yeah right and that was to keep her quiet. I don't think that's illegal. What is illegal is that he tried to hide where that money came from. Right. Like when Hillary Clinton funded the do Steele dossier and lied about it for a year. And then she was finally fined for that. So instead of finding Trump for this, they're gonna, they're, they have an overzealous DA who is being instructed by the establishment to, <laughs> to, put a, to try to indict well, Trump and put a, get, him a, get a perp walk. It's called novel use because they mm -hmm. never have ever done that this way before for this like it's like you know, yes pay a fine thing that's right you because then you got to prove so they're doing to trump what they warned trump would do to his enemies they were warned that trump is going to now criminalize his political enemies that's exactly what they're doing to trump and they've been trying to do it since he won the presidency that that thing that they're trying to make you afraid that trump was going to do they're doing now and that's what this is and this this novel use uh, of a misdemeanor. Uh, this is relying on the testimony of a disbarred ex-lawyer convicted of making false statements to a federal bank and also tax evasion. What what doubts? How could you have any doubts about this case? It's watertight. It relies on a disbarred lawyer who admitted to lying to everybody. What? Well, how could this? How could you have doubts about this case? So here, let's get into it a little bit. We'll get into it a little bit. But I want to read to, uh, that guy Turley from George Washington University. He also is saying stuff about this. Um, so this guy says, I think this is a seriously flawed prosecution. University of California, Berkeley law professor John Yu told Fox News. Now, uh, you, a Bush era deputy assistant attorney general, but he's the guy who justified torture, by the way, just so you know. It wasn't Alberto Gonzalez, or he was one of them? I he was just John Yu was a big one. Oh. Yeah. Um, going after Trump while he's in the midst of a presidential campaign appears to be a politically motivated move to damage his chances of reelection, he suggested. So it seems like I don't know what's in it for you to do this. Maybe he's looking for a job in the Trump administration, but wouldn't it be better if he looked for a job in the next Republican administration? You know, wait, no, John, he, John, you's not John. You saying this is a bad idea. That other guy. Yeah. John, you was saying right. this is a bad idea. Oh, well, the thing I, the other he, thing he's I've been say, seeing is he's like a Soros guy, like one of those DAs oh. that got money. So I have strong doubts whether this will ever get to a jury. This is that guy, John, you. I have a strong doubts whether this will lead to the conviction of President Trump. He could easily get off all these charges and be declared innocent. This is probably the weakest thing that they've ever brought. To me, it appears to be a hope to kick off another January 6th event. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> I think that's the main thing is to hopefully salvage this. It's weird that he said, I, I think he'll be declared innocent. 
at the bottom because that's yeah. not how legal people talk. They talk about not guilty. They never say declared innocent. They declare him not guilty. I mean, that's what they relied on after the Mueller report had nothing. They were like, well, he's not declared innocent. He, he may get off the charges. They're not going to declare him innocent. That's weird for him to use that. Uh, it's epic time, so. Uh, since Trump's Truth Social post announcing that he may be arrested on March 21st, the former president and others have noted that Bragg, a Democrat, received, so Bragg is the prosecutor, yeah. has received campaign cash from a group linked to controversial, so to George Soros. Okay. All right. So going to be the wave of prosecutors that were going to like activists their way through it. It's also useful for this kind of stuff. Yeah, of course. It's very useful. Uh, I mean, if we get another fear-inspiring riot at the Capitol, then we could, oh, imagine how much funding we could give to the security state. <laughs> and we could invent another police department probably and fund it to a couple of billion dollars like they did the last time. Oh, hope Fingers crossed. Here's what was tweeted out corrupt new york city district attorney alvin bragg received a million dollars from soros and his election for the new york city district attorney <laughs> what if it turns out he spent some of that telling a porn star to shut up <laughs> <laughs> and then elon musk weighed in he said soros figured out a clever arbitrage opportunity what what does that mean arbitrage you know like when you settle it in arbitrage instead of going to court like when you're suing, some lady's suing disney right in arbitration now. you mean mm -hmm. oh soros figured out a clever arbitration opportunity the many small political contests such as da's and judges have much higher impact per dollar spent than the big races so it is far easier to sway the outcome that's according to him that's according to elon musk that's, I don't what know if that's the same as arbitration but it's the same kind of thing like it's using a an alternate, an alternate, uh, let me ask Suri. Yeah. Hey Suri, what's the definition of arbitrage? Yeah. Okay. So that's what, so it's more of a, okay. It's, yeah. Okay. He's getting no, more it's not arbitration at all. A clever, more bang for his buck opportunity. That's what that arbitrage means. More bank for his buck opportunity. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, higher impact per dollar spent than yes. the bigger. Right. Okay. When you have a prosecutor who is not prosecuting serious crimes in New York City and is twisting and stretching the law to investigate Trump for something that occurs, how can they do this to President Trump when, when George Bush ordered a torture program? Ill illegally invaded another country admits that we all everybody knows they lied us into that killed a million people ordered a torture program to cover it up well because we didn't want to tear the country apart but right now we do want to do that but well, right now we do want to do <laughs> so that that's why now we do want to tear the yeah. that's a great way to put it yeah. we didn't want we didn't prosecute george bush because we didn't want to remember barack obama didn't prosecute george Bush. he said we tortured some folks yeah and then he said we're not going to torture them because all those torture crimes happened in the past <laughs> And Barack Obama wanted to look towards the future. And everyone said, okay. And that was that. And this is the future. And this is the future. <laughs> this is the future where you prosecute your political enemies for a hush payment to a stripper. Wow. Wow. But Hillary Clinton funding that steel dossier and lying about it. That's the crime that she lied about it for a year to the FBI. And she got it fine. Uh, Trump isn't being investigated for making a payment to Stormy Daniels, but for allegedly misclassifying it during the 2016 yeah, it's campaign. Not, it's not for the actual making the payment. I think you're allowed that's to right. pay off yes. orders. That's right. You're allowed to do it. So historically, the United States has it, an important norm for not targeting current and former presidents because they have to make some of the toughest, most difficult decisions in the country. Prosecuting a former president who has broad support will also set a da dangerous precedent, he said. <laughs> right. Uh, many times the president has to make the tough choice between different war crimes, and it's already tense enough. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need him worrying about being prosecuted on top of doing the Which war crime. Zero accountability. Yes. Prosecuting a former president would be like prosecuting Jeff Dunham's terrorist dummy. <laughs> <laughs> You can lock Ahmed the terrorist away for life if you'd like, <laughs> but Jeff Dunham's just going to get a replacement puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a case like this, and it's not important enough to break that norm of not pursuing. So it isn't. How could this possibly rise to that? 
No current or former president has ever been arrested since the country's founding. Nearly 200 and every president since World War II has been a war criminal. And Chomsky proved that. I've, I've showed you that video on this show many times. He was being interviewed by that English reporter, and he said every and, he, and the English reporter said, "Prove it." What, and he, he went rattled them all. It was actually the most he, impressive Chomsky thing I've ever seen. It was he rattled them off like nobody's business. Jimmy Carter, war criminal, East Timor. Jonathan Turley, a law professor for. So I'm glad this. I like this guy more. John, John, you guy. I, I don't. He, he seems to be telling the truth now. He works at Berkeley now. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he, but he lied about torture. He's one of the worst guys in the world. I'm amazed that he's not going full pump establishment as a guy that was in on that torture program. Right? Why like wouldn't he Liz be a Cheney, Trump hater, right? Your Cheney family people. Yes, because he's in, in on the torture. He might just be saying, le you could be just saying legally what it is, but then he's got weird non-legal language thrown in. Maybe he's, he's like it. worried that if they can go after Trump, they can go after him and George Bush later for the torture. It's probably like the ICC thing of like why why uh, yeah. the Pentagon doesn't want them bringing up that, maybe war that's crimes. It. Yeah, he it sounds like that. Maybe this guy who's part of a war criming organization meaning that's Jonathan Yu, maybe he doesn't want to set the precedent of, hey, we're, we all take care of each other, right? We all commit <laughs> war crimes. <laughs> so this, this guy, Jonathan Turley, a law professor for George Washington University, wrote an opinion article that the case against the former president appears to be legally pathetic and is a bid to twist state laws to effectively prosecute a federal case long ago rejected by the... Didn't... By the way, now that I didn't Stormy Daniels em, end up paying Trump money? Can you look oh, that up? Maybe. Did Stormy Daniels have to pay Trump money? To look that up. Who is Michael Avenatti or Avenetti working with? Was that with her? Uh, he, yes. Okay. Yeah, remember he was like the hero. Yeah, he the for, hero. Then it turns out he's now he's trying to he's going to prison. I think he had to pay her. I see one thing from NBC News saying Stormy Daniels must pay three hundred thousand to Donald Trump after losing her. Appeal for defamation suit owes for legal fees. <laughs> wow. So there you go. That was March go 22. Great. So here is, here is what Jonathan Turley says, is while we still do not know the specific state charges in the anticipated indictment, the most discussed would fall under Section 175 for falsifying business records based on the claim that Trump used legal expenses to conceal the alleged hush payment that were supposedly used to violate federal election laws. While some legal experts have insisted such concealment is clearly a criminal matter that must be charged, they were conspicuously silent when Hillary Clinton faced a not dissimilar campaign finance allegation. Why do people talk like that? Why do you got to say when she faced a not dissimilar? How about when she faced a similar? Is it that hard? No, that's, this is this is people jerking themselves off with can, language. That's what this is. I think an editor chose that. Like you those think? Fauci emails. Like, can you say uh, and not dissimilar? Yeah, because similar uh, sounds too close. I'll bet you that was an editing decision. Regardless of the outcome, Kurt, if Trump is indicted, it would require the 45th president to travel to the district attorney's office in downtown New York to surrender. In some white collar cases, the defendant's lawyers and prosecutors often agree to set a date and time instead of arresting the individual at their home or elsewhere. By the way, just keep in mind, this is what they would be doing to Bernie Sanders. This is what they would be doing. They did rush a gate to him already, and he tucked his tail and ran. I mean, he but wouldn't if he make it to this. That's right. If he would have actually got grabbed power <clears throat> somehow, and he actually would have did something, they would have did this to him. Bernie couldn't even withstand Elizabeth Warren lying about him That's to right. his face. To his face. Trump would get his fingerprints and mugshot taken and would appear for a court arraignment. The former president would likely be released on his own <clears throat> recognizance and would be able to head home. Uh, and if Trump is smart, he'll make an NFT out of his mugshot. Even Democrats <laughs> will buy that, am I right? <laughs> uh, exclusive Trump hush money grand jury called off for Wednesday, delaying possible indictment vote. Yeah. So, the, so I wonder what the oligarchs, they're all talking, the Soroses and the people and the Chuck Schumas and the billionaire class, they're all deciding how do we handle this, the people on Wall Street and the people in the military industrial complex are trying to figure out what is the best way to get rid of Trump because they know that their political class are so corrupt, the Democrats and Republicans, that people are so done with them that he has a good chance of winning again if he runs. So they can't allow that to happen. They'd rather just give him another TV show for 10 years. I, I bet you they could they could do that. Just I mean, just like let it sink in that, the, okay, the, he's 
uh, once again, the front runner, the guy that this guy that like, they stop trying to get him because you're somehow making him if you really more powerful him, yeah you're making him w there's nothing it looks like he's being harassed he is being harassed kurt that's why it looks that way i'm you they're you doing have to things like, yeah. uh, they're doing things to him they haven't done to any other president and will not do to future presidents it's just him he's their brexit they got to get rid of it they can't let people <laughs> yeah. vote for brexit again and right. that's what this is yeah right I mean, I'm but, amazed. And the, the establishment loved him. They gave him a television show for 10 years on NBC. Everybody went to his golf outings. Everybody went to his wedding. They all went to each other's kids' weddings. They all went to Epstein Island together. He was a hero to rappers. <laughs> Go to JimmyDore.com to see my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny. For only $10, you get to become a premium member, too. And come see us do our live shows. We're going to be doing stand-up comedy in Milwaukee, Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Maryland, and more. Go to JimmyDore.com for a link for all those tickets.